this episode, we try to keep old minds happy. We talk about selfies and I don't remember. Enjoy the show. You ask questions and I answer them. This is the Ask Gary V Show. It's Gary Vay Nurchuk, and this is episode 53 of the Ask Gary V Show. Before I get into this episode, as you can tell, the setting has changed a little bit. Uh, episode 38, we told you we would get to floor 15, and we have. And before I get into the questions, I have one other thing to say. Just a couple episodes ago, I talked about how D-Rock was one of the worst basketball players I had ever seen with my own two eyes. However, last night at the VaynerMedia holiday party, we teamed up in cornhole and completely dominated. Is Andy K around anywhere? Because he's devastated of what happened last night. D-Rock, when I teamed up with him, because of the lack of hand-eye coordination I saw on the basketball court, I expected me to completely have to put his body on my back and carry us to victory. However, the man absolutely dominated alongside with me. And we, did we go 4-0? Four 4-0. Oh? Four and oh. yep. Let's get into the show. Eddie asks, what three values do you hold highest in life? And it's a great question. You know, I don't know if I have three values that I hold. I'll just start rattling off things that I really appreciate. Uh, you know, I think I think the first, you know, thing, and I don't know if this is in any order, but I'm a humongous fan of patience. Lack of patience has caused so many people from not achieving the upside that they deserve, and and that kills me. Uh, you know, the value of a this, word is bond, uh, I think really matters. I think you know having somebody in your life that you just know that you can trust because when they say they're gonna do something, they do it. And then in a weird way, contradicting that, but not really, I'm a huge fan of somebody who's nimble and empathetic uh, because when you really think about it, I, for example, am telling you that I love word is bond, but then when somebody actually does that and doesn't deliver on it in a weird way. I'm okay with it. Um, I don't. I don't know. And I'm very attracted to that own characteristic within myself because I think I understand that even though you really wanted to, you know, something happened that made you not. And I want to dig into why. And so I think nimbleness or empathy um, is, is very, very, very important. I think people that are grateful are extremely attractive. You know, n- nothing's uh, more ugly to me than than somebody who's uh, spoiled and I think you know at some level hypocrisy is the thing I hate the most in the world so the opposite of that which is maybe that or I don't know but those are things that come to mind. Chris asks has a selfie replaced the autograph and how will it go down at Wine Library on Saturday? Chris the selfie has replaced the autograph straight up how it will go on Saturday, and you're referencing the uh, wine library from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. appearance that so many of you in the Vayner Nation are not coming to. I read the comments yesterday, you know, I don't understand how a man can't convince his girlfriend to take a drive from West Virginia. You know, if you need to make me call her, I will. Email me her phone number, I'll convince her on the phone in two minutes, and I'm not even her boyfriend. So anyway, what's gonna go down is this. I think a lot of people are gonna come, uh, both in the business and the wine world, a lot of them are going to be old time friends that grew up watching Wine Library TV, maybe even people I knew when I was a kid uh, growing up in the store, so that will be fun. But I expect to take a whole lot of these, uh, absolutely. And more interestingly, uh, one of the really interesting phenomenons that I'm seeing in trends is how many kids are actually printing out selfies with famous people and then posting them in their lockers, I, I think is really interesting. And so, for sure, that is now the social, you know, autographs are social currency, they represent. You can go in your seat. Go ahead. You can you, you can go in your seat. Okay. Uh, it's your seat. Um, the autograph showed the autograph showed kind of like that social you know equity that like hey I met India right and so now the selfie is even more powerful more scalable it is 100 percent replaced the autograph. Jimmy asks, what's your favorite city in the world to drink wine in? 
Jimmy, my favorite city in the world to drink wine is, in is uh, the city that has my friends and family in it at that moment that I'm sharing that wine with. Th- there is no like you know atmosphere that dictates my happiness of drinking wine. There's no pretty French Riviera or the gorgeous mountains. I don't give a crap about that stuff. What I care is who am I drinking it with. So I could be in Newark. Big ups to Newark, not dissing. If it's with somebody I love and we're enjoying wine, then that's what is the driving force. And so then it would be Newark. The hotel lobby in Austin in South by 2007 is one of my favorite times of all time of having wine. The parking lot of a Jets game. You know, it, it, you know, inside the caves of wineries in Tuscany. Like, it, it's happened in a lot of places, but it's never been the setting. I don't care about that stuff. It's been the people I'm sharing it with. Bill asks, I'm in sales for third generation residential construction, getting my at bat. How do I increase business but keep old minds happy? Bill, it's a great question and and I've got to set this up. I may not be the right person to answer this because my answer comes with straight venom, so get ready. I truly believe the way that you get old minds to accept, consume your new ways is to be extremely rogue and aggressive and massively disrespectful to them. I get it, but old minds are tough to move. If you're gonna play within the lines that they draw, you're not gonna be able to do what you want. At some level, I had empathy and respect for my dad, and the truth is, he gave me plenty of room, so I didn't even really live this, but I live it now with VaynerMedia, where I'm trying to move old minds where they're B2B, and they're not my dad, and they don't know my brilliance sometimes up front, and they're not quite sure, and it's hard for me to move it, and one of the ways to move it is to be out and out disrespectful. I'm telling you right now, I get it, and you don't want your grandpappy firing you, and I understand all those dynamics, but the truth is, if you want to move mountains, it's not gonna be by like, you can't get it done like that, my man. And so to make change, to move things in the right direction, you've gotta come with thunder. It's just the way it is. And so you've gotta be a little disrespectful. You've gotta tell them they're old. And, and this is the big one, if you, God forbid, get your chance to do it, you better execute. Because if you don't, then you're just a kid. Then you're just naive. Then you're just young. And it's International Mountain Day. Show, show, show. he deserves it, show it. He, he was paying attention to the show. He was paying attention to the show. That's unbelievable. You just crowdsource stuff by saying. Yeah, you know what? These guys are a hell of a lot more fruitful than that closed off. I like these guys more than I like you guys, I think, now. Let's do it. Michael asks, hope you had a great time at last night's holiday bash. What's your favorite holiday tradition? Michael, hands down, my favorite holiday tradition is uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, just going to my parents' house in Hunterdon County. Uh, it's just something, I don't know, I just love it. Uh, obviously, we talked about it a couple episodes ago, but it's really just, you know, I think you get the theme, it's happened twice here. I'm a people person, I'm a family guy. That's the one that's almost like the, the non debatable. My dad screwed up birthdays a couple years ago by taking my mom to Italy on the birthday and breaking up the family dynamics and now I always razz him for that because then I had a really dear friend get married during my mom's birthday and we went away and so now it's broken up a little bit. Birthdays used to be pretty sacred. Family shifted a little bit on that one but Thanksgiving is like, we've gotta be together, we've gotta be at mom's and it means a lot to me, get to see everybody I love so much and there's so, you know, the football games and the, me and AJ doing something crazy like we bought expensive basketball cards this year. You know, just it's always a, a lot of fun. My sister's kids, blah, 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 blah. So Thanksgiving getting together, nothing too crazy, nothing too, you know, wild, but that's the scoop. Is that indeed? Yeah. All right, question of the day. Give me a little feedback on your new settings, Vayner Nation. What do you think about this? How do you like it? Do you enjoy it? You keep asking questions, I'll keep answering them. Vayner Nation, I need you to start tweeting questions. I think we've done a bad job by reminding you how this show works, which is you've gotta ask me a question, use the hashtag AskGaryV, and then you get on the show. Dig deep, Vayner Nation, dig deep. Gary, I have a question for you. Do you think the reason why the Jets are so bad this year is because you made a deal with the devil? Subscribe to my YouTube channel.